Today, I want to talk about the Spinnaker Dumas in Sea Spray White. So I've just been on a roll with the Spinnaker watches lately and when I was browsing through the website for like the millionth time, I saw the Spinnaker Dumas and you know the story is always the same, I fell in love with it. But people were saying it's a monster watch that will only look good on the wrist of like a mafia boss and all the pictures in the reviews were like these hairy dudes with like thick wrists saying the Dumas wouldn't look good on a guy with dainty girly wrists whereas I am literally a girl with a dainty girly wrist. Well, I'm glad to say that I powered through my doubt and today I have on my wrist the beautiful Spinnaker Dumas in sea spray white and I couldn't be happier with it. So, as you can see, this monster watch with a monster chain still fits well on my 15cm wrist. I adjusted it to the tighter setting. I'm going to open it now so you can see. You can see how this bendy part is sitting snug against the watch case. And yes, from this angle, it looks a bit lopsided, but it does sit well on my wrist, and I'm able to rest my hand on the table and type comfortably the whole day. The weight of it is also good. So this watch is 204 grams, 100 grams for the case and 100 grams for like the 4 millimeter thick boss woman strap. And it was the, twice the weight of my Spinnaker Croft and Floyce. So I was initially concerned that it would be too weighty, but really it's not. I've been wearing this for two weeks now and I hardly notice it on my wrist. So either that or I've grown some really solid arm muscles just from wearing men's watches all the time. So now you must be wondering about that infamous strap keeper that doesn't do its job. And it's true, it doesn't do its job. And even more so when I've adjusted it to the very tightest setting, which leaves a lot of excess hanging out. But I found a solution. So I have this sticky tape hanging around the house. It's called nano tape. It's meant for you to stick on your kitchen tile wall and stick a pair of scissors on it to take on and off and it's really not that expensive. So I cut it off a bit and I pasted it here and it works perfectly to hold the watch strap. I haven't even had to replace it and I have to say it lasts even after I've gone swimming with it twice. It just dries out quickly and it's sticky again. So you just have to press it down and it stays. So on the strap keeper, I actually wrote to Spinnaker and they said that they're working on an improved design for the strap and it should be out by the end of this year, which is really good news. But I was just so excited about having the watch that I couldn't wait to buy it. And so I used the nano tape solution instead and it's been working perfectly well for me. So before I end the review, I just wanted to say that the Spinnaker Dumas is absolutely gorgeous. The navy blue that the designers chose for the bezel is just perfect and complements the red markings on the dial and the minute hand perfectly. The layers of the dial are simply amazing and you know I'm such a sucker for these layers on the watches. I also love the octagonal vintage aesthetic and I simply couldn't find anything else like it out there. So thank you again Spinnaker for giving me the chance to have another piece of art on my wrist and I'll see you the next time.